Just before the Nigeria Labour Congress announced suspension of its uh, protests, our correspondent Uchi Okoro was on the streets of Port Harcourt and River State to bring us updates on how the protests went. His report. Affiliate unions of the Nigerian Labour Congress converged on their state secretariat before marching to the government house in Port Harcourt. As NLC, who have said that we will not keep quiet, today we are very proud. I will continue to be proud of NLC that will remain the only common voice that is standing in this country. No matter what anybody my team may say, we are on the streets to demand the intervention of government in the difficult times being faced by many Nigerians. In order to ease the financial burden on the masses, Labour wants the government to take action to make food available and cheap. We suggest a reopening of the land borders to allow food, cement and other essentials to come in. Emergency measures to ensure food security around the country, including ensure that farmlands are secured so that farmers can return to their land. The head of service assured the NLC that the state government would transmit their demands to the appropriate authorities. We have hope. So I know that the Excellency, the governor of the state, Sir Sim Fubara, GSS Arwes, will also deliver this message as presented to the federal government. Other demands by NLC include the reversal and suspension of the increase in electricity tariff and school fees across the nation, as well as payment of a more realistic minimum wage to workers. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt. Let's talk to Head of International Relations of the NLC, Uche Nayakwe, who joins us on the news at 10 for more. The nationwide protest was meant to uh, last two days. What informed the NLC's decision to suspend it after 24 hours? Yeah, first, uh, the, the protest is a warning to bring attention of the government to the situation in the country. That we did by issuing the notice the silent that have greeted the agreement we signed since 2nd October was removed because governments are calling meetings and we start having engagements on the matter. And as at yesterday, we have still seen a little more commitment to engaging the issues. Bear in mind, like I said earlier, it is a warning. Our effective automatic will expire by 14th of March. So after reviewing the activities today during a, a meeting of NEC via Zoom, majority of the NEC members were of the opinion that after having made the submissions to the various quarters today that states will use tomorrow to articulate the specific challenges affecting their states while working towards the total strike if nothing happens to give more assurance to addressing the challenges by the end of 13th of March. So that is the reason why the Congress suspended the action of tomorrow to work and focus on what happens if within this window period. I hear you. Don't, yes, I hear you. Not, I I hear you, Mr. Ekwe, if you can hear me. The, the NLC president is quoted to have said, the protest was not about the government's commitment to the October agreement, but for food inflation. Now that you have extended yeah, the deadline by seven days, what really are your expectations? Yeah. Our expectation uh, the, 
is that before then, there will be, we expect to see practical changes. You know, these things are fairly straight. The bag of rice is 70,000. If between that time, as the government have been talking about releasing food from the strategic grain reserve, if the releases come, or other policies come, the price of rice will change. So those are the practical things we want to see within this window period. We want to see that the price of commodities, particularly essential food commodities, drops within the period in question. I hear you, uh, Comedian. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us. Head International Relations of the NLC, Uchenna. Thank you for talking to us on TVC News at 10. Thank you.